A heavy hearts on Capitol Hill today as lawmakers and staff mourn Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Walorski. She, along with two of her staff members and the driver of another car, died in a car crash yesterday afternoon. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more on the life of the pro-life representative. Eric. Yes, good evening, Tracy. Yes, a very somber day up here on Capitol Hill as lawmakers remembered Indiana Congresswoman and also South Bend native uh, Congressman Jackie Walorski. She was known as a tireless worker, one who was a no-nonsense type of woman, but also a champion in pro-life. She always fought for the rights of the unborn. The flags at the U.S. Capitol lowered to half-staff as news broke of the death of Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Lewarski. While under the dome, lawmakers mourned her, including Indiana's two senators. I, for one, am, am truly devastated. I, I know that Jackie loved the state of Indiana. She loved the Hoosiers throughout the state. Um, she had an incredible sense of humor incredibly smart, so talented in, in, in many ways, and, and um, she'll be missed. Always a good friend, and she was a tireless, uh, you know, congresswoman that uh, represented her area well, and uh, two others uh, lost their lives as well. That's just something when it occurs, it's uh, uh, when it's close to home. Police say the 58-year-old was traveling with two aides in her Indiana district when they were involved in a head-on crash. The accident killed the congresswoman, her district director, 27-year-old Zachary Potts, and her communication director, 28-year-old Emma Thompson, along with the driver in the other car. Lewarski was first elected to represent Indiana's 2nd Congressional District in 2012. Her husband said in a statement, quote, she has returned home to be with her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please keep her family in your thoughts and prayers. Susan B. Anthony, Pro-Life America, says pro-life groups lost a leader. She just lived on mission. Even while she was here, she was always excited about the times and places the Lord had placed her and the special role he had entrusted her with. And prior to working into politics, she was a television news reporter out of South Bend. And prior to that, she and her husband, well, they ran a missionary in Romania where they helped underprivileged children with both medical and food supplies. So she was definitely a woman who gave her life to the Lord. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.